Merhabalar, hoş geldiniz. Ben şimdi İngilizce döneceğim çünkü birkaç yurt dışından gelen mesafelerimiz de var. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, welcome to. Um, my name is Marcus, Marcus Graf, and as the curator of this exhibition, I have the pleasure to introduce to you Yoras yes. and um, nice his work. Um, obviously, this is not only uh, the opening of an exhibition, but also the opening of a gallery. A uh, collect gallery run by Vladimir and his partners. Where is the other partner? Over there. Um, they uh, decided to contribute to our local art scene by opening this gallery here. And um, from today on, we will have um, a really some kind of intercultural, interna international exchange between Istanbul and Sofia. Um, this is um, the beginning um, of the first exhibition and um, the first exhibition is a bit tricky or a bit strange or a bit <laughs> different um, because we decided in one month we're going to show four different um, exhibitions, solo exhibitions, meaning today we will, have, we will have Yoras, one week later we will have Sevda and then uh, the other weeks there will be other artists. The title is called Check In because the gallery is checking in in our uh, art scene. It's some kind of hello. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, um, the check-in area is here. When you go upstairs, you will see the waiting lounge because upstairs there will be um, teasers or there will be works by the artists who will be here the following weeks as well as you will see them on the television and they will talk about their work. So every, every time one artist here has the solo show, then this artist will go upstairs and get into the checkout era and then one artist from upstairs will come down. So in a way, we um, try to uh, develop a dynamic exhibition model and with this dynamism, in a way, the gallery responds to the dynamism um, of Istanbul. Um, Yoras is here, um, so that's why we thought we'd take the opportunity um, to have a short and informal uh, art talk or artist talk. Yeah. Um, so let's get right on. Uh, Yoras, I know you, but yeah. many people most probably do not. So why don't we start by outlining your ID as an artist or by outlining what conceptual aesthetic or formal mm -hmm. topics and issues you are interested in? First of all, I want to say uh, thank you that I'm here and uh, hi everyone. <laughs> so, uh, I'm coming from the field of the contemporary art, but uh, I do not consider myself as a conceptual artist. Uh, for me, it's not so important how to say the mediums, techniques, materials, it doesn't matter. The, point the important thing is the content because you know everything is a language and in my works maybe it's not so obvious but there is a narrative there is a story and most of the time I'm, I would like to uh, to share so what's the story about well there are different stories like uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday they're like our uh, feelings, emotions, they are different, but uh, I would like to mark that I would like you, like observers, to have a maximum amplitude of freedom of interpretation, because I'm a little bit, um, how to say, uh, addicted to freedom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why I use or I play in the um, field of abstract art, non-figurative art. Uh, I think that in the abstract forms you will have the maximum code of the interpretation. Mm -hmm. Because you are not uh, so uh, directly limited in the um, perceptive uh, process. And, uh, how, do you do, how do you define artistic freedom in that sense? Oh, it's, uh, if I uh, if I'm able to answer you on this question, maybe I will be not on this planet. <laughs> or is it? Or is it? You just you just feel free to whatever to do whatever you like, yeah. and that's why, for yeah, instance, you it, have. It's it's one of the ones of the 
possibility. Yes. But how do you work? How do you start? Do you have a sketchbook? No, do you have first no, of everything, all? Everything is uh, in my head like a seed. Mm -hmm. You are put this seed on some soil. Maybe it will take two months, mm -hmm. two years, or 20 years, or two lives. I mm -hmm. don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, for example, this series I making in my head, preparing maybe for twenty years. I mean, when I look at when I look at this works, I yeah. mean this series here, yeah. the okay. errors, errors here, right? Yes. Mistakes. Uh, there are beasties, this beasties. Errors. So, so, I mean, I see some kind of fragmental, uh -huh. it's a strange particles but they are not coming together so how do you work on them is it just you you put something over here and then you have the reaction between the emptiness and of you course, know materials course, how, how does it work well uh, this series mainly deal with uh, nothingness with the emptiness with the empty space represented by these gaps by these uh, white spaces uh, I mm, I really would like to uh, to get some some kind of language because this is a language mm -hmm. this uh, type of in they have interactions between each other and uh, I really wanted to synthesize mm -hmm. the painting on the proto on the simple basic level it seems that layers are also important especially in those smaller works because you glue uh, uh -huh. paper sheets onto top of each other cut yeah. something out how because, does this work? Because it's not enough for me as an artist, it's not enough to have uh, just one plane. Mm -hmm. I need layers. Mm -hmm. You can see this concept here, for example. It's the same. The same concept is on the hotel. For example, this with styroforms. They are layer after layer after layer after layer. Are those like the layers of reality life itself? or what? Um, yeah, yeah. In um, a way, I mean, in this exhibition, um, Obviously, we try to show as many different approaches yeah. as possible because, like Jura said, he's working in the field of drawing, painting, but as well as you know, he works with ready-made or found art as well mm -hmm. as installation. Mm -hmm. um, so, therefore, in this little gallery, okay. you actually see three different approaches from three different series. Meaning, this is dealing with symmetry. In everyday life, maybe. Mm -hmm. So this is another series dealing with errors and mm -hmm. others. And on the other hand, we have a series called Hotel 1 and 2. So actually, in this little room, you see already three different approaches. We talked a little bit about this. I won't extend this too much, otherwise it gets difficult. And um, after the formal talk, you know, Joras is a very nice and communicative guy. So you can ask him whatever comes to your mind, but at least also for the video, what about this series? I mean, it looks totally different. If I, if uh -huh. I look at this, if I look, look at this series, I see uh, Cy Twombly, okay. I see, um, I see okay. children's yeah, drawing. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I see all course, kinds of, of kind of approaches, but yeah, drawing yeah. based and yeah, emptiness. Yeah, yeah. When I look at this, I see color field painting. Okay. I see, you know, the yeah. the school of post-war American energy, art. But the energy encapsulated mm -hmm. or used is the same. I believe that you uh, should recognize the artist not by the form, mm -hmm. by the aesthetic, by the energy he mm -hmm. used. But it seems that, that, that there is a different energy because when I look at this yeah, energy, yeah, yeah, that's correct. you know, the empty spots and this fragmentedness is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. more difficult and this seems to be rather constructive in a way, whereas yeah. this is rather... Different stories, different... Yeah, I mean, this is, this is, this is painting, of whereas course, this is painting. something else. So what yeah. about those works? How do you work on them? Uh, actually, uh, it's uh, preparatory, it's like a study for uh, the series, which uh, should be developed maybe in the next month. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm asking uh, in general, what is the image, guys? Mm -hmm. How it works, how it affects, how it appears. What is image? Is this image, is this painting, or is this painting? Yeah, in this work you have a lot of different images combined into yeah. one, right? Yeah. But the rules and everything is the same. Mm. So I'm wondering uh, what is the image. And um, here you have, for example, the layers below one beautiful painting, mm. color field painting. And with this black matter, this black, thick, heavy oil uh, paint, uh, I make something like intervention. 
because I strictly believe on symbolic kind of level that if you would like to create something, you have to be prepared to destroy. Mm -hmm. They are permanently connected. Okay. Like so it's day so and light. And it's of course uh, mm. Zen type of work, uh, a little bit. Uh, so it's a bit thesis, antithesis, dialectical, yeah, because it's between yeah, yeah, construction right. and destruction, yeah, course, right? Because course, you yes, create yes, and yes, erase. Yes. With and the I, in some moment, I suddenly realize that I'm achieving something like uh, uh, layer from different kind of uh, how to say meaning. These works seem to be more like vocabulary and uh -huh. declination and okay. spontaneous whereas I don't know how do you work on those is it like I'm reaction very fast. And I'm very fast uh, I have no techniques problems mm. if you if you're asking me about the the process mm -hmm. uh, maybe I'm making a preparation like study with the uh, beautiful <laughs> uh, painting background first and uh, I'm waiting a little bit to cure, mm -hmm. to dry on touch. I use some uh, additives to accelerate a little bit because... Uh, it's oil paint, right? It's oil paint. Yeah, it's oil, it's oil mm -hmm. of course. Uh, maybe it's not so obvious, but uh, I really... Uh, how to say... Uh, would like to uh, um, to stick to the classical approach hmm. because it's important the mastery the, the history of painting the yeah, the craft I know. yeah the craft the craft it's important mm -hmm. and after a while when I uh, felt it I'm just uh, <laughs> grabbed hmm. and maybe for. They're like our Prima series. Mm -hmm. One round for the background, and the second one, I finish. Mm -hmm. In the end, the Hotel series, which is, I would say, the most exceptional or uh -huh. strange, weird, or yeah, different approach. <laughs> um, especially if you look at those three, mm -hmm. um, you are working with found materials. Yes, absolutely. So I see some kind of relation to words, you know, ready-made, Duchamp, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I know that um, these found objects that you found on mm -hmm. the streets or in different flats, yeah. they have to have a meaning and a story, yes, right? So what yeah. about this hotel series? Hotel in general is a metaphor, a uh, metaphor of our lives. As I mentioned to you when you met in my studio, when you close your eyes, for example, and if you uh, get enough luck to take some time for yourself, you will see some uh, blurry images that are uh, passing before your eyes. It's like uh, a movie tape. Mm -hmm. And these blurry images, uh, it's, a, it's a poetry. Mm -hmm. you know? I, I would like, I really uh, like to, to touch you something in poetry here. Mm -hmm. For example, these are uh, objects that really uh, found me. Mm. Not so you, you didn't find the yeah, the, they, the, the images, the, the, the yeah. objects, the you're object going, found you? You're going outside and something calling you. Mm. Why do you call them hotel series? Because you don't, you don't find the things at hotels, so why is it hotel? Hotel is the metaphor, metaphor of our thing that we call life. Mm. You know, we are here for a while. Yeah. And that's why it's hotel. <laughs> right, thank you very <laughs> with, much. With cleaning stuff and everything. I mean, maybe on, on, on the first look, it looks all very different, but at the same time, you see the fragmental approaches, you yeah. know, the layers um, is, is given in all these various works, besides using the language of abstract art. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much for having thank us, you. and thank you very much for sharing thank your you for ideas. Thank you, guys. So, thank you, guys.